Hey guys, I'm here with my second Yankee Candle SAS haul. I did a one, I think about two weeks ago or so. I bought three candles and then I went back a couple days ago, Saturday, today's Monday. What's the day? Monday, June 20th, first day of summer. I went two days ago, Saturday, and I bought, I did the six for 60. I thought about it, but I thought, did I want to do it? Did I not want to do it? But I decided to go ahead and do it because I just kept thinking about it. It's a really good deal. Plus they had an email for 10% off your purchase. So it was six for 60 plus 10% off. So it basically was six for $54, which made them $9 each for a large jar or tumbler. So that's really good deal. So I couldn't pass that up. So I wasn't for sure what I wanted to get. I had a few in mind that I kind of wanted, but then I was just kind of going and kind of smelling them, trying to decide at the last minute. So I'll show you what I got here. I got all tumblers because I just got three large jars in my last haul, if you saw, and I've kind of been struggling with them again. I just, I just don't like large jars. I know a lot of people like the large jars better. Most people prefer the large jars over. There are some people of that like tumblers, but most people prefer the large jars and they're pretty and I like them when they do burn good, but I just, I struggle so hard with them. Even sometimes I'll put an aluminum lid on it. I'll put it in the hurricane and I have to put foil on it. I still can't get it to pull out. I'm having a real hard time with my carrot cake pulling out all the way, unless I put foil on it. I have to put foil on it every time I burn it and to get it to pull out all the way. Um, and as far as the strength with tumblers versus jars, so a lot of people say they have better luck with jars as far as the throw goes, but in my experience, I've had about the same. I've had quite a few jars that I haven't been able to smell at all, and I've had a lot of jars I've been able to smell. Same with tumblers. I've had a lot of tumblers I could smell, and I've had a lot that I haven't been able to smell. I, I don't really have... They've been both about the same for me, so a lot of people think the tumblers don't have good throws, but I've had a lot pretty good luck with mine for the most part, but I've had a lot of duds too, don't get me wrong. I've had a lot of duds and I've had some that are good half of it and the rest of it's not good. So anyway, it's just easier for me too because I, I want that quick wax pull. When I get home, I light my candle. I don't want to wait around you know, all day long because I don't have all day long all the time. So it's, that's too is a big plus for me for the tumblers. I do prefer them in the paraffin wax though because it just seems like it's a little bit of a cleaner burn. Um, and it is a slightly stronger sometimes but not always just depends because you know the large jars are in paraffin wax too and they're not always stronger too it just depends it's just they're all pretty much here hit or miss i think but um the bad thing with tumblers sometimes the only thing i don't like about tumblers is they soot really bad you have to keep on top of trimming those wicks all the time especially when it gets towards the bottom part it can get the flame can get really super high so you have to make sure you blow that out if that flame starts getting real high you have to blow it out trim those wicks Otherwise, you'll get soot really, really bad with the tumblers. And then the do the wicks do kind of like move a little bit. Sometimes people don't like that either. That doesn't bother me too bad. It's just mostly it's just that them getting really tall and kind of sooty sometimes. So that's the bad part. Um, that's the one thing I don't really like about the tumblers. But anyway, so I'll show you what I got here. The six that I decided to get. The first one I got is Dreamy Summer Nights. This one I had in the Melt Cup. This one just came out um, for a summer scent a few months back. And I had the Melt Cup. I really like that picture. I really love the Melt Cup, so I wanted to try it in a large, in the candle. So I decided to pick it up. And I'll read the description here for <clears throat> Mids, or uh, I always want to call it Midsummer's Nights. It's not, it's Dreamy Summer Nights. A relaxing blend of vanilla bean, heliotrope, and a hint of woodiness. It spreads the subtle magic of a warm night in soft bloom. It's really nice. This is so good. It's I really get that vanilla. It's like a woody vanilla, kind of. It's a little... Um, heliotrope I actually had somebody comment on my review, and they said that... Let me look here. It was Heidi Johnson. She commented, she's heard it described as cherry vanilla, baby powder, soft licorice, or Play-Doh. And I actually, it, 
I get a powdery note. I do kind of get a powdery note. I don't know about licorice. Definitely vanilla. I don't know about cherry. Maybe a little bit cherry, kind of. But mostly vanilla. Not, not a lot of cherry. But definitely kind of a powdery. It's kind of a powdery, woody vanilla to me. Is what it smells like. Some people have compared it also to um, warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. Some people have compared it to that, and it kind of does smell a little similar to that a little bit, but I like this better. I'm not a huge fan of warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. It's okay, but um, I, it's not one of my favorites, but I do really like this one. This one's really nice. So hopefully this will do well because the Melt Cup did really, really good. Next we have, this is one I've almost got before, but I never have, so I decided to pick it up. This time it's Blue Summer Sky. I think this one came out, I want to say last year? Was it last year, 2015, or was it 2014? One of the two. I'll read the description of this one here. Okay, so, Blue Summer Sky reads, Under a bright blue sky, breathe the clean, earthy, airy scent of a heavenly summer day. And it has the fragrance notes. Top is summer berries, saffron, and fresh ginger. The mid notes are blue lotus, jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base is amber, cedarwood, and patchouli. This one's really nice. I can't believe I didn't get this before because this is really a scent that I would kind of gravitate towards. To me, it's like a woodsy floral kind of scent. I really get pick up the the jasmine and then the uh, woodiness, the cedar wood and the amber, a little bit of amber, slightly patchouli. Those are all kind of mixed together. I get the amber and like the cedar wood a lot with a slight hint of patchouli and then that the blue lotus, jasmine. Those are the main things that I get. It's like a floor, woodsy florally kind of scent. It's kind of earthy. I really like it. It's really nice. I don't get I don't get much ginger or berries or anything, but it's yeah, it's it's really good. It's earthy, kind of woodsy, florally. It's like the outdoor floral and kind of like just it's really nice. So this is really strong too. It's pretty strong, so I'm hoping it's it'll do good when it's burning. Next we have, we'll do this one here. This one I don't remember seeing that much before, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they've had it out. But I don't, maybe it just looks different in a Tumblr to me. I don't know. I can't remember this one for some reason. I, I know they've had it out probably. This one is Lavender. Has this one, comment below, has this been out before? Why am I not remembering Lavender for some reason? I'm sure it's been out for a while, but I just, for some reason, I don't remember seeing this label with this picture. I don't know why it doesn't seem familiar to me. So, okay. All right, it reads, powdered lavender bundles tied with heather that is both soothing and luxurious. Mm, I like this one a lot. It's, to me, it's just lavender. That's all it is. Straight up lavender. It kind of reminds me of like, you know how um, Bath and Body Works uh, French lavender is? It's similar to that. It's just nothing but lavender to me. It's really nice. I love lavender. Some people don't like lavender very well, but I love lavender. To me, lavender is just so relaxing, so calming. It's just, it just really calms me. Like this and like tea scent and candles just really are just so calming and soothing. I love them. Mm, it's so good. And I... Looked at the description, all I could find was like a small jar they had for sale online. So I don't know if this was. Comment below again if you is this an old scent that they just don't have they don't carry much anymore or what? Because I'm just I don't remember seeing it very much. So anyway, so I I wanted to pick it up because I haven't seen it very much. So and I like lavender. So decided to pick that one up. Next we have pink peony or peony, however you want to say that. Big picture of it there. It's pink colored wax. When I was growing up, we had peony or peony bushes. My mom always pronounced them peonies, but I know a lot of people say peonies. So I don't know which is the proper word. I think, I think I hear peonies more often, but I've always called them peonies because my mom always called them peonies when I was growing up. 
So I automatically see it and I want to say peonies, even though everybody else is saying peonies, so I feel like I'm wrong. I will read the description of pink peonies. I'm just going to say peonies because that's what I grew up saying. Pink peony. A full flowered scent of spring's most luscious bloom, filled with the promise of warm days ahead. Doesn't really say much. It doesn't have any kind of, some of them have notes and some of them don't. This don't have any kind of fragrance, mid top notes or anything. I actually really like this one. This one, it's definitely floral. It's, it's pretty much all you get. But to me, it's it almost smells like a rose scent. I'm not really big into florals, but I really like this one. I first smelled it, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. It smells to me like rose scent, but with like a little bit of a perfuminess to it, which rose has kind of a perfumey scent to it because it's a floral, but there's just a little bit of something else going on in there besides rose, but it's very similar to rose, like fresh cut roses and thing. This is very similar. I should have compared it to the two. I should have compared snipped at the store of fresh cut roses compared to this, but this one might be just slightly a little more powdery kind of maybe. It's really good though. This might have just a little different of a, I'm not really, really, seasoned on floral scents, so I don't know if I can exactly pinpoint on what the difference is between the two. Um, it's just a little bit of a different floral note compared to the ex just plain roses, but it's very similar. So I really like this one. So, and I got this one too because Brad likes floral scents and different things, so he would like this too. So I picked up Pink Peony. Next we have this is one that came out um, last summer, and um, I had the Votive in this one, but I never got the candle, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the candle because the Votive did okay. wasn't super strong, but Votives to me aren't real strong anyway sometimes, so we'll see how this candle does. Peach Cobbler. Look at that delicious peach cobbler. Yum, yum, yum. Peach colored wax. So... Peach Cobbler reads, Peaches from the farmer's market perfectly baked with cinnamon and honey sugar. Mm. I really like this and I hope this one throws. I really do. Because it's such a good bakery peaches. I get peaches and I get cinnamon and sugar. I get really sweet. It's really sweet. Oh, it's so good. Cinnamon sugar. It's not like real cinnamon. -y. It's just like a hint of cinnamon with the sugar and the peaches. I can almost get a little bit of a crust in there, kind of like the cobbler crust, kind of maybe just a little bit. It's kind of in there with that. Slightly bakerish. Mm, that's really good. It's like a creamy peaches. Peaches, almost kind of like peaches and cream a little bit. It's really good, but I do get a little bit of little slight hit of, of crust kind of note in there. So hopefully this throws well and it's in the food and spice category. I keep forgetting to tell you what categories are in. Let me backtrack. This is food and spice and the pour date. I don't normally read the pour date, but I'll read it to you. This one, 2015 is a pour date on this one. We'll backtrack. Dreamy Summer Nights was in the fresh category and it was 2016 pour. Pink Peony is 2016 pour, and it's floral, of course. Lavender was fresh category, and 2015 pour. Blue Summer Sky is in the fresh category, and it, this pour date is 2016. All right, and then the last of my large tumblers this is one I've had before and I love it. It's one of their strongest candles. Can you guess what it is? It's one of Yankee Candle's strongest scents. Take a guess. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What do you think it is? What'd you guess? Did you guess? Chocolate layer cake. Ta da Yes, it's one of their strongest scents. Chocolate layer cake. I love this candle. This is, I think, my... Look at that picture. Uh, I'm getting hungry. Can you tell I'm hungry? 
<laughs> I'm so hungry. I just got off of work and I'm starving. Anyway, chocolate layer cake. I think this is my third or fourth one. Third or fourth, I think, I've had. Super strong. Fills almost your whole house. So good. Let me read the description here. Oh, this one is in the food and spice category, and the pour date is 2016. So all these are 2016 except for um, peach cobbler and a uh, lavender. So chocolate layer cake reads, the scrumptious layering of cocoa and chocolate mousse is pure decadence. Mmm. This candle is so good. I could just sit here and smell it all day. Mm, it's definitely cocoa. Cocoa, chocolate, cocoa. Um, yeah. You get a little bit of cakiness too. You get kind of a cake, chocolate cake, the actual cake and cocoa. That's really good. It has a like a bakery, chocolate bakery cocoa scent. What else did, did it say in there? Oh, chocolate mousse. It could be chocolate mousse too. Yeah. Chocolate icing, even it smells like a lot of different kind of chocolates. Chocolate icing, chocolate cake, chocolate mousse. Just chocolate goodness. This could could just be called chocolate goodness. It's so good. It's so good. So um, we'll see how it does. I think the last tumbler that I had actually had tr problems pulling out the one I had last year, if I remember. So hopefully this doesn't have any problems. It looks like the wicks to me are just a little bit thinner. Look at those wicks. Do they look a little bit thinner than normal to you? On some of these, they looked a little bit thinner. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't give me any problems. This one's not too bad. There was another one that I thought looked really thin. Let me look and see. That was not bad. Maybe it's the blue summer sky. Does that blue summer sky look, do they look kind of thin? A little bit thinner than normal? I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, chocolate layer cake, it's awesome. Pick it up if you like chocolate scents. I like any kind of chocolate scents. I just, I love chocolate candles. Even if they kind of smell like candy chocolate, I just, I love chocolate. I'm, I just love chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and so that was it for my six tumblers that I got. Six for 60, 10% off. It came to $9 each. And then uh, my friend that's a manager there, she let me use my coupon also for if you spent, I think was it four? $40 or more. I forget what the coupon said. And you get a free small tumbler of one of the new fall scents. So that's what I did. And I had a hard time deciding which new fall scent I wanted because I actually, when I went, this was the first time I'd actually smelled the new scents Saturday when I went. And I actually, I like quite a bit of them actually, more than what I thought I was going to. My favorites, I think, were Crisp, is it Crisp Fall Night and Autumn Gathering, those two. I really wanted to try those, but then I also liked candied pecans. So this is the one I got, candied pecans. And it has the new label there. I will say the new labels are slowly growing on me, slowly. The more I see them, the more I'm starting to get used to them. So. I don't hate them as much as I did at first. I don't know if I ever actually really hated them. I just didn't really, I was so used to seeing the big pretty picture. It's just so hard to get used to the picture being so much smaller when we were so used to that big old picture. But I don't know. I think once we all get used to them, we'll just be used to them and it won't seem such a big shock anymore maybe. I don't know. I know some people don't like them at all. They think they look cheap and generic like, but I don't know. It's, 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 it's growing on me. We'll just say that. So my friend is a manager. She said she got this one. This is the one she picked up. She really liked it. So I decided to get this one because I figured I could burn this in the summertime. Um, Cause it's not particularly fall necessarily, but a lot of the ones they had weren't necessarily like fall fall. Like I could have been like the crisp fall night. I probably could have did that one anyway and got away with it um, in the summertime. I'll definitely probably go pick up some of those other ones. Cause I really like those other two, but I decided to go ahead and get this one. And this one reads on the description. It says, fresh from the oven, warm pecans glazed with caramel, sugar, and vanilla. The top note is cinnamon, mid notes are pecan, praline, and caramel, and the base is vanilla and malt. 
I like this one, it's nice. I get a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of caramel. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a sugary sweetness to it. It's nice, I like it a lot. What are the, it says vanilla, sugar vanilla. I don't, it says top notes are cinnamon. I don't really get any cinnamon really. I basically get the pecans, praline pecans and caramel and vanilla. Sugary vanilla and caramel, it smells good. It kind of smells like maybe those little, uh, you know the pecans and stuff that you get dipped in like sugar and then like they have sh uh, kind of a, a glaze on them. Those kind of like, they also make like different kind of like almonds and stuff and dipped in like sugar and glazes and stuff. That's what they kind of, it kind of reminds me of. It's really nice, so we'll see how this performs. I don't have the best of luck in the small tumblers. They don't, they're one wicks. Sometimes they don't burn very well because they're one wicks. And I don't have the greatest throw with the one wick small tumblers, so we'll see. I usually stick these in like a bathroom or something. But yeah, I definitely want to try a couple of the other one, the other fall scents too. Um, in the fall, I'll pick up a couple of other ones of those probably. So, all right, that is it for my second Yankee SAS haul. I'm done, no more with the hauls for Yankee this year. Um, there might be a few, I might pick up at Bath & Body Works, I'm not sure. If the candles go on sale for 75% off Bath & Body Works for their SAS, I may pick up a few, but I, I don't wanna pick up too much because when fall comes around, like I said before, that's when I like, I go crazy. I like all the pumpkin scents. I was kind of disappointed that Yankee didn't have a pumpkin scent at all in their new fall scents. They didn't have anything pumpkin at all or any kind of like spiciness or anything. There wasn't, um, the other one was kind of bakery. I forget if the other one was a bakery kind of scent. But none of them were like really spicy, fall type of spicy uh, pumpkin type of scents, but that's all right. All right, so thanks for watching. Comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.